Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First of all, I'd like to commend the uh, gentleman from Christian for bringing this bill, the lady from Jefferson, and the other gentleman from Christian for, for their floor amendments for this. Um, you know, we've got, we've got worker crises all, all over the state and all over the country. And, uh, you know, in some areas of the state, we got, we got sh a shortage of workers. Some areas, like a lot of our, our gentlemen from, and ladies from Eastern Kentucky, you don't. But we're not always directly responsible for all of those positions. We don't, we don't set pay for doctors. We don't set pay for nurses. We don't set a lot of the standards that they have to go under. But, but this body and the body across the, the building uh, ha has a lot of responsibility for what happens in, in, in uh, employing our state employees, uh, of which one of the largest is teachers. We have a major teacher crisis in this state. We have a major teacher crisis in this country. But if we don't get a handle on it, and if we don't start making some drastic improvements, we're going to have a tsunami. So I urge us to do what we can as a body to try to, whether it be in the interim or wherever, to work on this problem. Because you think about the day that your kids go to school and they have no teachers. In many cases today, they're going to school and teachers are substituting for other teachers because of all the various problems that we've had now. This problem is not going to get better overnight. It's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of action on the General Assembly to do something about it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.